satisfied uh, causality. Um, and the final thing is um, we want to measure a uh, notion of distance between uh, these systems. And here, uh, we simply use distinguishers. Um, so a distinguisher is another system, so it's another causal box, which we plug into, say we want to measure distance between phi and psi. We take another box, D, which has to have the inputs and outputs which, which uh, fit. We plug it into phi or psi, and it's going to output just one bit. It's sort of its guess, is this phi or is this psi? Um, and then you can actually define a, a distance like this by um, taking the statistical distance between the output of D when it's plugged into phi or psi, and then taking the supremum over, over all D. And then we get a notion of distance which uh, satisfies all the properties we need. Ah, thank you. That was my last slide. Questions? So when you connect the boxes uh, with loops in the quantum case, can this be viewed as post-selected teleportation, but then things work out properly from the causality assumption? Um, one way of viewing it is, is tracing out. Uh, I never thought of it as post-selection or teleportation. Uh, there I use the, the Troy Yamilkovsky representation to write it up, but if you <coughs> use the natural representation, it's, uh, things are sort of permuted in a different way, and it actually corresponds to a trace operation. Well, uh, so when you connect the, with a loop, it seems like a projection onto a maximally entangled state. And when you write out the, the Choi operator, you have those indices matching. Yes, yes, uh, yes, you can probably do that. Um, um, yes, the, the, the way we arrived to this was actually looking at other papers, which, um, for example, the, the framework on quantum combs, which have do something very similar. They also represent their, their systems using Choi uh, Yamanokovsky representations. But they don't decompose it in two steps. They um, don't do the parallel and the loop. They directly uh, compose two, two combs together. And they have a formula which, um, um, yeah, doesn't matter what the formula is like. If you take their formula and you try and do it in this case and do it directly, um, instead of putting a loop would be like putting an identity system. So if we have a formula for plugging two systems directly, doing a loop would simply, somehow have been having an identity, which would then look like the identity would look like, the choice representation of the identity would look like uh, the, um, the EPR pair, or the maximally entangled state, and I think you would get something which looks like teleportation. Uh, would be a different way of writing it, but I haven't told much about that. No, you, you, you can have signaling from Y, uh, okay. You can have signaling from Y to A because, um, because Y and A, they both extend over a whole, whole period of time. So you could have um, a message which comes in at Y at some point T, and then uh, it corresponds to something which is output of, at A at some point, uh, some later point in time to T prime. So uh, you couldn't rephrase it, phrase it as no signaling from Y to A, but um, if you sort of took the causality into account, there's no signaling back in time from Y to A. Of course, something which comes in at Y at some point T cannot influence an output A, which is before. So I, I, I mean, there is no signaling back in time. I don't know if that's the parallel that you see. Um, We have a question over here, and uh, the next speaker can start setting up in the meantime. Okay, so uh, in your formalism, uh, the whole causal structure is sort of built into the Hilbert space, is that correct? Yes. So uh, is this possibly connected to the formalism used uh, in uh, summoning? Uh, where, uh, I mean, so the, the, sorry, the formalism used where? So th there, was a, uh, there was a paper a few years ago about uh, summoning. So where and when can a qubit be in space-time, something like that? 
Uh, I, I don't know that work. I, I don't know if Patrick Hayden is here. He was involved. OK, one more question. OK, let's thank the speaker again.